Caitlin and I got a mystery box in today from Cody over at Popular Opinion. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. Uh, so he put these out there and they're like, I think it was like 25 bucks each and there was like 40 of them. I figured what the hell. I really enjoy Cody's channel and uh, I wanted to support him a little bit. There wasn't too many pops in the picture they showed on Instagram that I necessarily wanted. There are some. <laughs> There are a few. There are a couple ad icons that I've wanted, um, and some Star Wars ones that I want, uh, and I think there's actually some Pokemon ones in here that I would not mind having a double of. So we're going to check into all that and just see if one of them is in here. And uh, I think I need to go ahead and do it now because I don't want to put our addresses out there. But this thing is like bulging. <laughs> this thing is like bulging at the top. <laughs> What's ever in here wants to get out, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do it. So, as you can see, I chose number uh, 34. Four is my lucky number. I always try to get, if I can't get four itself, I try to get something with four in it. So, I might have to tell you guys the story of <laughs> why it's my favorite number one these days. But not today. I just want to get into this and get it open. So, let's check it out. I think here's something rattling around in there. I don't think it's the pop. I think it's like paper or something. I'm trying to be really, really careful so I don't do it what I did to my Exodia. <laughs> I don't know if the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, video is out by the time this one goes out, but yeah, I messed up on that one. <laughs> so, let's do it down here. So, okay, it's in a sorter, so you can't tell. This is what I heard rattling around. Should I open this or does it tell you... I'm gonna wait. It might tell. Some people put that in there that tells you what you got. So let's just wait on that. And. Okay, good. That's the side that didn't have. I always forget and just turn it around anyway. And oh, that's a good business card. Damn, that's a good business card. Oh, I'm jealous of that. Man, that is awesome, Cody. That is freaking cool. I love that. I kind of want to turn that into a sticker and put it on the desk. Oh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. So again, probably the one I would want the most would be the Star Wars ones. Uh, it's the Futara, whatever, from Target, the C-3PO and R2-D2. Those are the ones I want the most, but again, it's mainly just supporting a friend, so... I don't really care what I get, so let's check it out. I'm gonna let you guys see first. I'm not looking. Can you see it? Oh, okay, Dragon Ball. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. I know everyone keeps wanting me to. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a ghost, though. Okay, so Code Tanks, Super Ghost. Kamazaki, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry to everyone who's into Dragon Ball Z. But this one would be easy. I don't know how much it's worth. If it's worth a little bit, I might try to just uh, put it on my Macari. But if not, would anyone be interested in me making this glow in the dark? Because that would be a fairly simple thing to do. <laughs> uh, very simple. Oh, it's transparent at the bottom. Let me go ahead and open this up. I know his top grails were Trick's Rabbit, I think. Um, one of the Maleficent in Dragon, I think the original one, and uh, Tiki Stitch, the scented one. And I already had two out of three of those. So, again, it didn't really matter which one I got. This is really cool. I'm kind of hoping this isn't worth a lot because I kind of want, instead of making it go in the dark, I kind of want to keep, keep the body and make my own character. But I know if it's worth something, people are going to get really mad if I do that. So, I'm not. This guy is heavy, too. Because his hair, yeah, his hair is solid. It's not, his head isn't completely so hollow like most of them are. The head part probably is, but the hair definitely is not. Because it's also transparent at the top. Again, I have no idea what this guy is. No idea the story behind it. I know people dry... D dry. <laughs> people dry off in Dragon Ball Z a lot. People die off in <laughs> Dragon Ball Z a lot. Um, it's like a freaking soap opera. Like, just like a comic book. So, 
I don't know the story about this. If anyone does, that you can put it in the comment section below. Uh, but this guy is freaking cool. I have a few Dragon Ball Z pops put up uh, for future customs. Anyway, so this is cool. So yeah, you guys have already probably seen the price on there. If not, I'll put it here. But uh, this is really freaking cool. Again, no clue who he is. But I honestly just love the shape. Because I can think of a couple characters that are ghosts that I can make, that I can use this body mold for. I'm really hoping this doesn't work too much. <laughs> honestly, I don't care to customize a, a pop that's worth, say, $30 or even $40 by itself as long as I can get something cooler out of it. Uh, I personally don't care about that, but I know other people would come after me <laughs> if I did. So yeah, don't know how much this is worth. I'll figure it out. And uh, you guys can tell me if you would be interested in seeing this glow in the dark or would you be interested in seeing this as just a full, uh, a full on different custom. Because again, I can think of right off the top of my head, I got like two characters in mind that I can make. <laughs> from this because this is pretty pretty freaking cool so this is again go tanks i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but anyway i'm going to put a link to cody's channel in the description box below as of right now at the time of me filming this i believe his latest video was him and beard of pop counting down their top 10 uh, Batman Pops, if you put both their videos together, it's their top ten. Uh, and there was definitely a few between the two of them that I was definitely jealous about, especially that, uh, Batman Beyond. <laughs> but, uh, it was pretty cool, cool watching more DC nerds geek out over that. So, definitely go check him out, support him, he's an awesome guy, awesome channel, uh, king of the green screen, so... <laughs> Uh, let me know, know what you guys think of this pop. Is this something cool? Is it not? I don't know. But <laughs> By the way, just because I'm an idiot and I forgot to put it in here, here is the note that was in there that I totally forgot about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for purchasing a popular opinion mystery box. Your support means so much to me. I appreciate your business and hope you really enjoy your mystery box. You're a great supporter. But that's just my popular opinion. That's cute. Feel free to share polls with me on social media. I'll probably do that after this video is out. Uh, and there again is the link for his YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, just like on his card. Uh, also, I kind of, I think I forgot to mention that this is SDCC exclusive too, so. Yeah, people will probably come after me if I decide to, <laughs> if I decide to customize this. Oh well. <laughs> I think this was a cool idea, Cody, and I really... I honestly really love this guy just because of the shape of it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting. And remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.